The soldiers uh, then cast lots for Jesus' clothing. This is Luke uh, 23, 34. The soldiers divided uh, Jesus' clothing into four parts, one for each of them. But the undergarment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they don't tear it. They said, uh, let's cast lots and determine who will receive it. So they're going to gamble right at the foot of the cross for Jesus' last bit of clothing. On the cross, Jesus retained no material possessions. Even clothes uh, had been taken away, and with the roll of a dice, they were separated. This shows Jesus uh, uh, all the way um, to accomplish our salvation. Um, the main garment Jesus wore, a tunic, was was enough. Um, it was worth more uh, together than it was torn apart. <clears throat> and the seamless garment was used by priests. And uh, we read in Exodus 28, 31, and 32 about the priest wearing a seamless garment. So the scripture was fulfilled. They divided my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Afterward, the soldiers sat down and guarded Jesus. Uh, Let us not tear it, but cast lots. And we see this same prophecy in, in um, Psalm 22:18. 18. Uh, here's some, the Son of God dying for all the sins of the world while people played games and laughed at his feet. And uh, we need to ask a question, how many people or even are we playing games at the feet of Jesus?